Hi everybody, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner and today we're on our last steps of the Super Chipmunk. Um, so in regards to the finishing work on the aircraft, we're going to be doing our clear coats. Um, so I've got to take apart everything from the aircraft. Uh, the plan is to take apart, take the prop off uh, with the spinner, take the cowl off, we'll take the canopy off, wheel pants, we'll take the wing off, and uh, we'll start masking a few things off that I don't want paint on. And then the rest of it, we're gonna start spraying that clear coat on it. And once we get that clear coat on there, uh, we're gonna let this dry. This is gonna take some time because this is gonna let the, uh, the paint is gonna seal in all of the, uh, the stars, the decals, everything is gonna get sealed in. So it will be officially completed in regards to the paint. Hopefully I don't mess it up. So stick with me guys and we'll get started. Okay guys, so one of the, I'm prepping the fuselage. I already got the first coat done on the uh, wing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prep the fuselage now. So I got the cowl off and I got the wheel pants off and, and everything. <clears throat> Went ahead and taped up the motor because I don't want to get any paint inside the motor. Also taped up the tail wheel on the aircraft and now I'm getting ready to uh, wipe it down. And what I'm gonna be using to wipe it down with because I want to make sure I get all the dust and any particles that might be left on it, hair or anything that's floating in the air. Uh, is you can go to Lowe's and uh, you can pick up what's called a tack cloth. And it's a little, it's a, it's a slightly sticky cloth. And what you do is you just wipe down the whole aircraft. So we're going to take it off the stand here to do this because it'll be a little bit easier. And you really, I'm just using this as a demonstration right now, but you really should have gloves on when you're doing it because anything that's stuck to your fingers or hand will go right back onto it. So, but wipe it down. Get anything that, you, any particles or dust off of it. Get the fuselage everywhere. And I already did this on the wing before I went ahead and put that first coat on there. 
But you gotta be careful around your vinyl decals, uh, especially ones that have points on them, because what'll happen is it'll stick to it a little bit and you might peel up that corner. So you wanna make sure that those stay stuck down because when you put that clear coat on top of that, you don't want that all coming off. So go ahead and just make sure you be careful around those. And I went ahead and took off the tail cone as well on here. I'll bring that down a little lower. Put, took off the tail cone. That's a separate piece. I'm going to clear, go, clear coat this separately um, to make sure that there's no issues on that. Uh, and then we'll put that right back in place. But that way I can get inside here and get a little bit of paint on the uh, rudder and the uh, elevator. And to make sure you're legal with the new AMA or FAA regulations, I do have my FAA number here on the tail. It's underneath the stab, and I have it in really small print so it doesn't distract from the scale appearance of the aircraft. Okay, now that it's all done and wiped off, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that back in the stand. I want to tape off and uh, the, the top sections in here just to make sure that no paint gets inside here where the electronics are and also tie up all the loose end the cables up inside the aircraft as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll be right back. So the fuselage is now prepped for clear coat, but I'm going to go back and uh, put a little more attention to the wing. I'm going to go ahead and do another coat on the top of the on the bottom half of the wing first, and then I'm going to flip it over. And uh, once that cures for a little bit, and we'll get the other side. So I'm going to move the camera, and we'll go ahead and get that next coat of clear on there. I do want to apologize for any extra noise that's in here. I do want to have these fans on to make sure that I'm getting enough ventilation in here because when you're dealing with paints, you want to make sure that you have plenty of ventilation when you're working with it. I do have a mask, however, the mask ends up fogging up my glasses and then I can't really see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for that next coat and uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so that next coat was a little bit of a heavier coat. I wanted to make sure I get enough, sh enough sheen on there and a bigger and a thicker coat. So that way that, that's nice and sealed. We're gonna let that dry for another 10 minutes based on the, the instructions on the, on the back of the can. And while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and finish prepping some of the other parts. Okay, so now that we have the fuselage prepped for paint, we're gonna let that wing dry for 10 more minutes, uh, on, and then we're gonna pr probably put one more coat on the bottom and let that dry again, another 10 minutes. Probably give that one a little bit longer because on the next coat, on the next, on the next step on that, we're gonna be flipping the wing over, and I don't wanna damage the, the, mess up the paint that's gonna be on the bottom side while I flip it over. So we may give that about 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, well, after that 30 minute time frame is up, then we'll be ready to go ahead and, and flip that over and uh, start prepping the other side. We're going to do the same thing as I did before. We're going to take that tack cloth, we're going to wipe down the tack, uh, wipe it down with the tack cloth, and then we'll be ready to go ahead and start uh, laying down the, uh, the clear coat on the other side. And what you do on, how I'm doing the steps here, 
So I'm doing a, a quick, just a dusting on the first one to give it a tack coat. And uh, that'll allow the next, the following coats to stick to that paint to the surface a lot nicer. So uh, we'll get ready for that in a minute. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the wheel pants, the tail cone uh, for the next coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and uh, we'll, we'll get started on this here in a little bit. Okay, so we have the, wheel, the uh, cowl in here and the two wheel pants. And the tail cone. So the process for prepping these items is what is a, pretty much the same as before. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little better. That's better. Okay, so as I said, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and, and, and prep these these parts also for uh, the clear coats. So this wheel pan, I ran into some small issues with the, when I was. Uh, fixing it here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just color in the top of the star again. Uh, cow is pretty much ready to go. Uh, the white spot up here and the red one down here, I'm not going to worry about too much on here because what I'm going to be end, what I'm going to end up doing on that is we're going to be using a new uh, screw head that will fit right on top, and it's going to be silver anyway, most likely. Um, I might actually use the same blue one again since it's painted anyway. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, uh, but we're gonna, just going to leave that the way that is because uh, if I went ahead and I started doing some brushing on the painting and stuff like that, it might actually make it, things a little bit worse than what they are. So I'd rather leave that, make it seem like I left, meant to do that, basically. So first things first, I'm going to wipe it down with a little bit of uh, denatured alcohol first. Uh, doesn't seem to affect this paint too much. Uh, it takes a little bit off, but as long as you're not sitting there in one spot for too long, it's not a big deal. But the benefit of using this uh, is it's going to take off any of the oils and the fingerprints that you might have uh, gotten on there or any other impurities on the surface um, from, uh, from handling it and working on other things. So I take a little bit in a spray bottle. This used to be my, uh, one of my uh, InstaSet bottles. But I'm going to go ahead and just spray a little bit on here. Not too much. You just want a cup, a little bit. Let some of it dry off. And then you're going to take that and you're just going to do a quick rub over it. And you want to make sure you're doing this with gloves. You really don't want a whole lot of denatured alcohol on your skin. Number one, it dries it out. Number two, it's just not healthy. Uh, and three, you just wiped off the oils. And if you didn't have gloves on, you're just putting the oils right back on it. And uh, the oils on your skin will actually cause the clear coat to do funny things. Uh, so want to make sure you do that. Okay, now that we have that wiped off, take this again and we're gonna do two squirts again. Let it dry off a little bit. And then we're gonna do a quick one on this one because as we know, we have these uh, water slide decals on here. We don't want to wipe that water slide decal off, so we're just going to do a quick, just a wipe like this. And it's just doing the same thing. Okay, that one's done. We're going to take our tack cloth, just do a quick wipe on it. Make sure there's no dust. Now before you actually do the paint, you will do this tack cloth one more time because you don't want to have any excess dust on it right before you spray because any dust that's hanging around is going to get right on there. Alright, so that's pretty much all you need to do in preparation for those. Uh, like I said, before you go and you do one more coat, before you actually start spraying, you're gonna wipe it down one more time with that tack cloth and make sure there's nothing left on there before you put that clear coat on because anything that's on there before you put the clear coat on will be on there 
after you put the clear coat on and you won't be able to get it out. So just keep that in mind. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and take a uh, quick uh, break here while I'm uh, waiting for the wing to finish uh, drying there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll flip the, the, we'll put one more thicker coat. Actually, we're probably ready to put that next coat on there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that next coat on there now. And then we'll come back and we'll let that dry for about 30 minutes, flip it over, and then we'll start doing the top side. So here we go. Okay, here we go. So on this coat, we're gonna go ahead and let that one sit for about 30 minutes. Make sure that it's good and cured uh, before I flip it over. And then we'll go ahead and tackle the other side. Okay, so I've gotten the wing out of the booth to let that go ahead and cure off onto the side. Got the fuselage in here. I'm gonna do the bottom side first, just like I was doing covered, and then do the top after. But I might bring it down the sides just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. First coat will be the tack coat. And remember what I said about wiping it down one more time with that tack cloth. Okay, that's coat number one, tack, claw, uh, tack coat. We're gonna let that cure for about 10 minutes, and then we'll go back with another coat. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting on the second coat on the fuselage, bottom side, bottom and sides. It's gonna be a little bit heavier than the first tack coat, but it's not gonna be as heavy as the final coat. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that's coat number two. We're gonna let that set off for another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll put that last float coat on there, which will get a nice sheen on the whole thing and fully seal all of these decals in. Okay, so I already put that last coat on here to let it, uh, let it cure now. Um, I forgot to hit the record button, so I apologize about that, but we're gonna go ahead and set this aside now. We're gonna bring the wing in here, flip it over. We're gonna do the top side now next. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what I did to lay this on that on the foam so it didn't leave marks on the bottom of the wing is I put some um, parchment paper or you can use wax paper on the foam on the stand here. That way, if it does have any sticking to it, uh, to the clear coat that it's on the bottom, it, it will leave a smooth surface and won't be as noticeable. And that can be buffed out really easily. So. Uh, just a quick tip on that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get that clear coat. We're gonna start clear coating the top of the wing. But before I do that, I'm gonna get my tack cloth. I'm gonna wipe this down because I don't know what kind of dust has been floating around and I don't want it on the surface underneath that clear coat. So we're gonna get that, clear, that tack cloth first. We're gonna wipe that down.
Okay, now that the wing has had a nice little uh, wipe down with the tack cloth, we're gonna go ahead and shake up this can of the clear coat, and we're gonna start laying the, the tack coat on there. Okay, coat number one, tack, co tack coat, 10 minute wait, and then we're gonna put a second coat on there. So stick with me, guys. Okay, guys, that's another 10 minutes on that first coat. We're gonna go ahead and put that second coat on it. Remember, a little bit heavier, but not the final crystal clear coat part of it. Okay, so we're gonna add that next coat on there. Now we'll let that cure for another uh, 10 minutes or so, and then we're ready to put that last float coat on there, which will add that final sheen to it and give me enough coats to be able to buff this out. Uh, so in case there's any uh, orange peel or anything like that from this clear coat, we'll be able to buff that out in the next one. So we'll do a wet sand and then a buff, uh, polish it and get it nice and shiny. This should be uh, the last coat here. And this will give me the, the final gloss coat with the, that will give me enough material there in the paint to be able to do some, a little bit of wet sanding on the really high grit. And then go ahead and do a buff coat with some uh, rubbing compound uh, by hand. And we'll see how that turns out, okay? So again, shake it up really good. Make sure you have a nice mix really good. And then let's go ahead and spray. Okay, that is the last coat. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes to cure just a little bit, and that way I can go ahead and pick it up and I can relocate it uh, onto my small table where I have the fuselage right now, and then we'll be able to swap out and go ahead and do the paint on the last, the, the top coat uh, of the top of the fuselage and uh, get that started. So, be right back, guys. Okay guys, now we got the fuselage back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a dusting coat, the tack coat on the top sides of, the, of all the surfaces on here. So the, the vertical stab along the top here. And we're gonna bring that coat down along the sides again on both sides, just so that we make sure that these are nicely sealed and we get a nice gloss coat on this. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Put this car out as we can. And you see I'm using the wing saddle here to keep the aircraft from rolling back and forth while I'm spraying it. And I have it as far forward as I can because I want to make sure I get that backside. This front section right here is going to be covered by the cowl, so I'm not as concerned about getting a whole lot of coats on the front side here. But I do want to make sure it's coated um, so that way it's nice and, and even without, with, throughout the airframe. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and grab the can, shake it up, and we'll go ahead and start that tack coat. But remember what I said about using this tack cloth. Make sure there's no dust on the top side now that it's been sitting drying.
Okay guys, we're back here on the uh, fuselage again. I got my can of my clear. I've already shaken it up pretty good. And we're getting ready to go ahead and lay the uh, second coat, which uh, like I said, a little bit more than the, la than the first coat, but not quite the final coat yet. So we're gonna go ahead and shake this up and slap on this second coat. Okay, that's coat number two, guys. We're gonna give that 10 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and start the final float coat, which will give it the final sheen. So, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so I turned the aircraft around so that way I can get a better view of the, uh, uh, the right side of the airframe to make sure I have a nice coat on that. And then what I'll do is I'll turn it around and do the other side so I have a good view of it as well for this final coat because this final coat is the float coat. That's gonna be the final gloss coat on, this, uh, on the uh, surface here. So we're gonna go ahead and start that now. Okay, now very carefully what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna pick it up by a spot that I'm not worried about the paint on. I'm gonna rotate it around very carefully without touching anything and set it right back down on this side. And now I can get this side without having to worry about whether I missed anything. So again, shake that up again and here we go. That's looking good. We're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then we can relocate the air, the, this part of the airframe somewhere else. That way I can take the cowl, wheel pants, and all the small parts and I'm gonna put them on a board on top of here and I can start clear coating those. So, we'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, so I got the uh, final parts, small parts here that need to be clear coated. I got the cowl. Uh, right here, then the tail cone, and then the wheel pants right here. So we're going to go ahead and start clear coating those. These are the final parts that need to be clear coated. Then we're going to give these a full week of, of drying. Let them cure fully before I go back and do a slight white, uh, wet sand with 3000 grit. And then we're going to go ahead and find, uh, get the uh, polishing compound and we're going to polish everything and get it looking really nice. Uh, and that'll blend all the colors in together, make it look beautiful, and we're ready to start doing the final assembly after that, which is mounting all these parts right here and installing uh, the wing servos, mounting the wheels again, the wheel pants, the cowl, and then creating the wire and harness for the power system, which is going to run the 6S battery, uh, basically the two three cells wired in series uh, to go ahead and get, my, get a, a six cell power system with, uh, at 5,000 milliamps. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the clear coat on these parts, and then uh, we'll be ready to call it, a, call it quits for the day in regards to working on the Super Chipmunk. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, we're gonna give those 10 minutes, let that tack, uh, uh, the, the tack coat sticky up and uh, dry a little bit, and then we'll add that next coat on there. I'm also gonna grab something that I can kind of uh, hold these uh, a little bit better, and uh, that way they're up and I can get all around them a little bit easier on those small parts. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm ready to put the final uh, third coat on all the small parts and then we're going to let them cure for 30 minutes before I can relocate them. Um, tomorrow I will do, uh, they, they, all the parts would have dried now for uh, 24 hours as of tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll reassemble the aircraft, get some pictures. So I apologize for the video being late and coming out on a Sunday rather than on Saturday but I wanted to make sure I could show you guys the final product um, of the clear coat minus the wet sand and the buffet. So we'll work on that on uh, following uh, after about seven, uh, seven days or so because this, the paint fully cures in seven days. So without further ado, let's get that last coat on here on these final parts and uh, we'll be all set for today. So bear with me here. Okay, that's the third coat. We're gonna let those cure. And uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay guys, so that's the process of adding that clear coat to this final finish. Um, I'm really happy with how this came out. All of my uh, decals are now sealed in with the paint. Um, looking really great. Everything has been clear coated now. The wing is over there drying. I do have the landing gear back on it. I had to bend one of the landing gears to get them both even with the uh, uh, lead and edge of the wing. So that's all set, ready to go. The, I have the canopy on here just temporarily. Uh, it's not really touching any of the paint sections, so we're good to go there. Um, uh, yeah, so I have it in my rack. However, I still have the parchment paper in here just so the foam pieces here do not cause any interference with the paint on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing all of the, the, the tape from everything. We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, next week, tomorrow actually, I'll reassemble everything, put it outside in the sun and we'll see how it looks. The, I went ahead and painted the nose spinner as well so it matches the same color red. But, uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with this, and we're gonna be looking forward to getting this made in flight out here pretty soon. So we're gonna let everything cure for another week. Next week, I'm gonna be on travel. I do have a, uh, my 20 year reunion for my high school is uh, coming up next week, so I'm gonna be flying back to Florida to uh, attend that. So thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate you guys, everyone's support. I hope you're enjoying this build series. And I hope you uh, share and uh, like the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And please go ahead and share this video with other people. Share my channel with other people. Uh, the more subscribers, the better. And it helps me uh, have the opportunity to bring you guys more videos. And uh, make sure you put some uh, comments down below if you, uh, if you see I'm doing something wrong or you have more questions on how I'm doing something. You know. Everything helps. I really appreciate all the support. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. So 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a shout out to the RC Model Geeks over in the UK. I appreciate the shout out onto your channel and I'm looking forward to seeing that storch in the air, guys. So keep up the good work, uh, Captain Rob. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for your help, guys. I appreciate it. See you next time. Thank you.